Screw it. Screw it, Sam. We're doing it live. I'm well, over that's it. That's it, John. When it comes to I'm over technicalities it. in the Sam and John podcast, there's two separate but equally important hosts. Sam, who's got his shit together, mm. and John, who don't know nothing. Yeah, because I... <sighs> Because I do everything, mate. Because I do everything. I make oh, it all happen. Oh, look at me. Oh. I got all the angles. I got all the buttons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Fancy Pants. Yeah, check it out, man. Look, I mean, you haven't even replaced stuff. my green screen. Here I am. Oh, studio. you're in for it now. Hang on, let, let me get let me get the bug here up in the corner. People that are listening on podcasts are just going to be thinking, what the hell are these idiots doing? What are they talking about? Well, we're on video too, people. We're on YouTube. And since we started a week or so ago, it's been nothing but a bloody disaster. Yeah, yeah, but that's all right. Well, we're here to bring it back. We're here to bring it back with the uh, with the excellence, with some of the classics, mm. some of the classics. Um, starting off with, I hear you got a little moral dilemma. I'm excited. Moral dilemma. Little, yes, moral that's dilemma. right. Moral, moral dilemma. Now, I was just, I was, you know, the libraries are closed at the moment, Sam, because of the thing that everyone's talking about that we're not going to talk about. Of course, libraries are closed. No um, reading, no education. No. So, but Shut I did. Up your mind. I, I did have a library book out at the time. So I get oh, to keep that's that. That's going to be a big fine when you come back. No, no, it's not. They've, they've got rid of all the fines. That, so that's, that's part of so the that's stimulus, fine. is it? Okay. It's all Library good. Library fines covered. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's all fine. That's, not, what I, that's not the dilemma. That's not the dilemma, Sam. The dilemma is. Okay. I just, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to come out and just ask you a question related to this, Sam. All right. this is, is it okay? This is the moral dilemma. Is it okay? Is it permissible to read a library book on the toilet? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, you've struck a nerve. You've struck a nerve. As we know... Uh, oh, 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 no. Okay, go on. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that on the toilet. You're in trouble. <laughs> now, long-time listeners will know that I... Uh, when I was on the toilet for the longest time, there was no extra material. There was no checking your phone. It was just focusing on getting the job done. Yeah. A little bit meditative as well. And a little bit meditative. astute listeners of the past will also notice that it, it, when asked if you could have a superpower... What would that be? And you said the power to poo quickly. Poo quickly. Power to poo quickly. But there's always... Yeah, I haven't achieved that yet. Let's just say that. Okay. Okay. But um, And for a time, I did regress. I, I started maybe doing some uh, social media stuff. But since going back to the BlackBerry, I've now... Since none of that's really available, I've gone back. Gone back to my feng shui ways. Okay, of, so... Of, of dropping the plops. You, you drop in onto a topic that I'm going to bring up later as well. So let's just... Hold that mm. thought and get back to the point at hand. The book. The book. Yeah. Yep. So um, regardless of what you do, I mean, people, d- d- mm. if you're going to read, I mean, you, people read the newspaper on the toilet. That's been a thing for a, a long time, right? They used to wipe, they used to read it and scratch it off, wipe the Well, pe- people have had to do that. The whole cycle of life. I'm sure that's happened lately because of everything that, you know, mm. is going on. So. Yeah, the shortages. But. And I've read my own books on the toilet without any any second thoughts. I'm like, well, I'm the only one who uses this. I think I borrowed some of your books. Well, there you go. And this brings us to the point. This brings us to the point. So how do we go about this? How do we we moralise? Here's what you do. You have some strength of character and you have Mm. some morals and some civic duty to your other society members. Mm. And you just... You just do your poos and your reading. You, you separate those two tasks, John. So the answer like, is no. The answer the, is no. You don't do that. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, people I, do. It's I, like I you go to a restaurant. <laughs> those knives and forks have been in people's mouths. You don't think about it. You try not to think about these things. Oh, I've never thought about that before. <laughs> well, now you will. Yeah, next time. Next time you're there. It really has. When and how working. clean are these kitchens at restaurants? This is the other thing I think about, <laughs> Sam. I've seen kitchen nightmares. They've got the cockroaches. I've heard um, in America they got the the on the windows. They say, "Oh, this is an A class place. This has been inspected mm. as B class." The sanitation. Apparently, I hear anything below an A, you just you just don't go to. It's oh, really? Like, so the, the standards, standards are that's that's the standard that we're yeah. talking about. It's kind All of right. easy to get an A if you be well, it, clear. It's good to know, Sam. I'm not going to tell you which mm. way I went. I'm going to leave that a mystery for the uh, for the uh, library for the readers. Next, whoever's got that online. Whoever's next. got that online. I won't tell you which book it is either. <laughs> for obvious They'll be able reasons. to see which page it's on. It's like, oh, they've marked the page. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Look, right. I'm very hygienic, Sam. I, you know, I don't, uh, you know. Uh, mm. well, anyway, moving right along. Moving right along. That, that was books. my moral dilemma. Well, I'm going to have more as the podcast goes on. So 
Strap nice. yourselves I'll in. I look forward to the next one. Well, since we're incriminating John, I'm, I'm going to be leading into a little of a incrimination of you. First of all, one <sighs> little topic is that there was a dude, uh, you may be able to relate to him, man jailed, let me see if I can cut this on screen, man jailed for stealing police cars blue lights for bragging rights. Hang on a sec. The let me make you. In question here. Well, that's mine. You fool. Look. I tell you what. The, oh my! Hang on a second, Sam. The audio listeners would have loved that we've switched to video. They'd be like, yeah, oh, thank because goodness, they can't tell that I've stuffed everything up. That's it's, why. It's like why listening need to you H3 here. Podcasts. Like, why are you seeing? Oh, oh hang funny. on. Let's <laughs> look, at that. <sighs> look at all this. That, that, I'm giving all my secrets away. Um, oh, credit card details are out there. Now. I don't even know where you've gone. That's Sam. why you should subscribe oh. on the YouTube channel. Okay, here. Okay. Bang. Well. Bang. Sorry, guys. I mean, what is going on? Here we are. There you are, Sam. God, what were you complaining about? Two equal and important groups. Sam's got his stuff together. Okay. Uh, this man, he stole these blue lights from a police car. It's actually quite a genius little act because hmm. if they try to chase him, <laughs> they're going to get stuck in traffic, aren't they? They can't have the honking lights and everything going on to uh, to stop the guy. So he's although he doesn't look all that intelligent, He's, he's, he's actually got a couple of brain cells up he, there. Very. This guy's from the man. UK, isn't he? Yeah, the UK. You yeah. can just tell he's a geezer. British like, Transport Police. Oh, you say I wasn't reading that. Unless he, Did the headline say something about UK? Yeah. Did they give it, man uh, jailed. Uh, oh, I the Metro. Think, I think that's UK. Yeah, that's no, but I don't, I don't think that's what gave it away. I just saw the guy's head. Go, go, <laughs> go, go down to his head again. All right, here's the that, head. That is geezer. That's a geezer cut. The geezer. Is that the haircut, is it? Yeah, I, 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 you can just you can just tell. You can just like, all right, the when vibe. am I going to see him on Lock, Lock Stock, and Two Smoking Barrel? There's, there's got to be a Guy Ritchie <laughs> film with this bloke in it at some point. Yep, ten weeks time and a thousand pounds. Ten weeks jail time. Pounds for a jail life. for ten. Well, they don't want people doing this, Sam. Yeah, this is... and a thousand dollars for some lights. Good lord! Look at the look at the smile on the bloke's face. The other day. This guy's loving nice. what he's just done. I I remember when I was it, yeah. younger with a mate. And we'd uh, been getting on the sauce a little bit. And uh, I think we're about 16 or something. And we we ran across the road to the KFC and stole their big... um, (laughs) Stole their big uh, Uh. KFC sign. And the thing is, I very... I I didn't immediately upon waking up remember doing it. And then I've just sort of woken up and mum's come in and just said, Mm. what the hell have you done? I'm like, oh God, where do I start? I I I don't know. And we looked in the backyard and there's just this sign the size of the backyard just saying kfc big whopper deal or whatever the hell the bloody thing was zinger something um you've so it's that same kind of glee but it was just that same glee that was on that guy's face i was like we'll just run across right oh look what we got look what we got and this guy's loving it but i I was a geezer i'm pretty sure i was a geezer i'm pretty sure i was a geezer um well the i was gonna bring that up and I'm, I'm interested that oh, you brought you up that self-incriminating. Oh, you actual thing. So there you go. That, that, actual that was thing. the incriminating evidence. So I was ah, going to bring you up. you remember. And you remember well. I do. And here's the... Because I noticed it was missing. It's like, oh, I thought they had a sign there. And then I realized, because I didn't see the evidence. <laughs> and then you looked in the backyard. away, hidden it. Yeah, it must have been back there. It's like, oh, interesting. Oh, Part, God. Pieces of the puzzle. Sherlock Holmes. It was all coming in front of my face. Banner not there. Banner is here. I figured it out. <laughs> uh, but it is kind of a really lame thing if you think of like... Hannibal Lecter, mm. when he did his crime, his trophy was eating the people. This guy, when he did the crime, his trophy was the blue lights of a police car. <laughs> Your trophy was the Big Mac of the, the Super Zinger Meal 45. You know, if, if, yeah. you, if you were in jail for 10 weeks, you wouldn't get the same respect. I don't think. <laughs> I, think the, I really don't think so. But I'm, I'm glad that I did avoid the 10 weeks jail. Um, you know, I guess... Yeah, what, what's the statute of limitations on KFC? The funny, do you want to know the funny thing? And this is not a word of a lie. The KFC <laughs> is literally okay. next to the police station. Oh, yeah, you can right. confirm this, Sam? It's literally next to the con- police true. police sale. Yeah. So, um, police I guess I'm... Egging okay. you on like, yeah! yeah no probably. Mate. Look at it. Look at this, dickhead. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah. there you go. Fun fact. Self-incriminating on the podcast. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, are well, we ready for what, another moral dilemma? Or? What's the uh, statute of limitations oh. on um, exactly. <laughs> on, on those sort of crimes? Years, years? Hopefully, it's 15? it's something like that. All right, let, let's move on to the next moral dilemma, Sam. Um, <laughs> okay. I was thinking this the other day. You bought me a book. Uh, with, it's, it's to do with books again. 
kind of. Yeah, the you one bought you read me a book for my birthday? Yeah. No, well, I, I don't think Dropped I read this one on the toilet. Rinsed it out. It's fine. Anyway, I got a book from you for my birthday last year. It was The Art of Happiness or the, uh, about Ooh, the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. Oh, Dalai Lama, mm. he's calm, is he? Dalai Lama. Oh, um, be happy. Go on. Yeah, and do it. Um, he's not <laughs> Indian. Well, any, anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, he's close, isn't it? To bits he lives there. He lives he's almost there. there. He lives there now. He might have picked up a bit of the accent. <laughs> I reckon he would. It happens to everyone. Um, okay, so I read the, I read this book, and um, mm. he, he's often talking about you know different methods that he does, and then how it can relate to Western people and all this sort of stuff. And the, and the guy who's doing the book asks him, you know, how does this relate to Western people? He's like, oh, I guess if you know you're a Western person who lives this way, um, it's different because he he has all these differences where like he's never um, he's obviously he doesn't have any he's celibate like a um, like a priest kind of thing. Part of the Dalai way. Part of the Dalai way. And he doesn't involve in any of those kind of um, thoughts and actions and all that sort of thing. And I just, it just made me think that a bit after that, I was watching a, um, I think it was like Embarrassing Bodies, you know, that show that's on late at night with all the weird things where they <laughs> yeah, have close-ups yeah. oh. of the, all the things and the, and the pusses yeah. and, and all I, that sort of stuff. I it's can't a great show. I used to watch that now. It's, like, <laughs> it's oh, a great show. Oh. Actually, maybe it wasn't that. So anyway, something I was watching about was talking about prostate health. And um, it was saying in order for What's men the- to stay healthy, there needs to be... Um, I'm going to be careful because we're, we're in lockdown. There's people potentially listening to my house. Yeah. So I'm going to have to be talking in code here. But Okay, so in order to keep a healthy prostate, you need to keep mm-hmm. things flowing regularly, basically. Mm. Um, mm. All things, okay. all right, and so yes. it just made me think. You know, that's a health issue, right? That's a health uh-huh. issue. So, does the Dalai Lama masturbate? Was he for health? For health reasons. The book. And does that pass Buddhist tests? Was, was he a little on edge? Did he mention that Ooh, late at night when all the other monks have gone to bed? <laughs> well, maybe that's what he's doing. He has to go hands free with the meditation. He's like, come on. It can work. Maybe yeah. there's. The, the, I think he did actually talk about tantric meditations. So, oh, that's. I, that's I don't know. Things, is it? Ma- ma- maybe he's the, on that level. He doesn't have to touch it. It's just. <laughs> that is how mental. advanced he is. That's why he's mm. so happy all the time. It's just like at any moment, close his eyes. Boom, pops <laughs> that is enlightenment. Oh, that's, that's nirvana, right oh, there, man. isn't it? There you go. Anyway, that's what he's got under those robes. But I mean, it's yeah. somewhat of a serious question. <laughs> <laughs> because, because if people didn't imagine he's got that, standards he's got standards was... he's got standards but this is a health issue <laughs> <laughs> he's just meditating so well in front of a group of people and something starts coming up it's like oh jeez is he alright you can't say anything he's the Dalai Lama it's like oh Jesus no you, you don't he's want to really embarrass like him but that's the that's thing it. like Everyone assumes that he's probably a vegetarian because a lot of Buddhisms are vegetarians. But apparently the doctor said to him a while ago that, look, for health reasons, you should really start eating meat. You need your protein and he must have had some certain issues. He's like, yeah, okay, I'll eat meat. Yeah. Cool. Probably says, yeah, and for the, you've got to keep the juices flowing. For the, he's like, oh, well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, right. yeah I guess yeah. so. All right. Yeah. If I have to. Get up pretty early. No one's up. You know. He does get up pretty early. Get it done. There you go. Anyway, yeah, that's, you these know, are the things I trip on, Sam, when I'm, when I'm in, in uh, quarantine, you know. These are the things. These that are the, the things you wonder about. Come to mind. I, yeah, I don't and know I think why. We should all wonder about that. I wouldn't ask do him we, to his face. Do we have but... any? <laughs> yeah, Dalai Lama. How often? Um, do we have anywhere where people can? Do we still have a Twitter? Can people let us know what they think? Whether the Dalai Lama does does have a good time? Let's do it. So you can yeah. leave it in the com- either the comments of the YouTube of the YouTube. Go yeah, to the Sam and John on YouTube yeah. in the comments. That'll be the easiest. Or um, we do have Sam and John on Twitter. You can probably find us there, and we should probably start looking at it if that's the case. Um, yeah, we should yeah. integrate a bit of a, a bit of tweeting. Yes, don't tweet the llama himself. Don't tweet the llama himself. No, yeah, probably not. Probably not. The pry that wasn't in the book. That might be the extra. That might, he wrote a few books. It might be one of the subsequent. It, it, it's editions. in the sealed section. Yeah. Well, it was called the Art of Happiness. Wasn't it? <laughs> there you go. I mean, maybe the whole thing was just an innuendo. Could be. Just saying. It could be. John, I had a uh, transformative moment. Oh. Now that sounds heavy. Last night, yeah, this is this is some pretty in- intensive stuff. We're getting so, real now. I've been watching Enough a lot of uh, Back to, to the Future. How to live a happy life, Dalai Lama, yap yap. Mm. This is Sam time talking now about uh, right. about life. I'm dialing in, mate. I'm so, rubbing, uh, rubbing my temples. Last night there was mm. a full, maybe not a full moon. Apparently a pink moon. 
a red moon, some sort of apparently, special moon. Apparently, it was just really bright, apparently. I, I was looking, was I was bright. checking throughout the night and my son wanted me to wake him up if it turned pink. We looked at it and it was bright, it was big, it was like a mini sun, but it, it wasn't pink where we were. Anyway. It was a honking moon. That's it. I was told around 11 to, uh, to head out, take a little mm. gander at the moon. It only happens every so often. This is your one chance. You were, but, told, um, were you told by our myself- father by any chance? I was told by dad. He so let was the whole I. family know. All right. Yeah, very good. Everyone, right. check out the moon. Guys, check out the moon. That's right. So we got right. the astrology. It was good. It was good. In the family, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's a good little, uh, good little tip off. Um, so it came up to 11. I was getting ready for bed. I was like, oh, I should probably check the moon. I couldn't see it from the back window. And I couldn't see it peering through the front window. So I thought, oh. Get outside, you lazy prick. I'm going to have to go outside the front and look at the moon. Hmm. And for some weird reason, and I'll find this a bit weird and a bit stupid as well i was like oh, i don't want to go out the front what if the the, um, the neighbor's pretty much right in front of my house their house it's like oh they're gonna who's this what is he doing why is he out of the night? what's he doing why looking is he at out? the moon what's he doing? He's just, what a weirdo he's, what a nerd he's a weird guy <laughs> i know it's like i was and i actually, that was going through my head so i was like no nah, maybe i won't go see the moon no, although like, if you're wearing that if you're wearing that beanie they already know you're a nerd but anyway go on. oh yeah yeah well, imagine <laughs> the gathering that's it uh, represent i love it but anyway <laughs> yeah but yeah that's, that's my excuse yeah that's a good idea um so i thought ah, do i want to see the moon and i said yes i want to see the moon so i was like what are you doing this is ridiculous just go see it and i recently read the headline of a book didn't read the whole thing i can usually get that's how advanced of a I book am, usually know, that just happens on facebook or or on the clickbait news you know people get outraged by a headline and just move on because you're doing that with books now just yeah book with by its cover now. see you later that's it. Judged. Yep. It's like, you know, T1000 or whatever, you can read a book bzzz, super fast. I don't even need that. I just look at the book and I get the idea. It was called The Five Second Rule. Mm. And I did actually listen to the intro of that. We learned uh, that in primary school, audio, Sam. We, we learned that, you know, if, if it falls on the ground, you eat it. You just got to do Five it. Five seconds. Pick it that's up quickly. It. Mm. Apparently, it's like that with life as well. If you have a thing that you want to do that can make your life better, you have five seconds to physically act towards it. And I thought, do I want to see the moon? Yes, I do. Then I started counting down from five. I was like, oh, all right, well, well better go see the moon. And I'll tell you what, John, I went out and I saw that moon. And although I was disappointed that it wasn't in any way pink or all that interesting, it was just quite bright. I was happy that I had done it. And and I went to bed quite quite a happy man, accomplishing you, uh, see, going outside my own house. And this is what modern life has come to. You you The level of achievement is kind of like the bar's pretty low. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not giving you crap with that. Like, I, I fully, I okay, get yeah, what you, going, I get yeah. what you mean. I get what you mean. I seriously get what you mean. The fact that we can't just do... It's such a... You have to rile yourself up so much to appreciate the simple things. Mm. Like and about how silly just, it is in hmm. perspective. Mm. Yeah. It's like just, just get outside to see... the Like in ancient times, that type of a moon would just be like, oh my God, the, did you... Like everyone would be talking the next day, did, did you see the, the moon? Whole like, it, will be around. It, it was like massive. Oh, like yes. Because usually, you know, day to day, you know, you campfire... Stars, same mm. crap every night. Oh, but the moon was really bright last night. Oh my god, you see it? Oh yeah, it lit up the whole sky. And they talk about it for hours, like the like they were talking about a footy game. But on now, all the tablets, all the stone tablets, all the walls, the glyphics. Yeah, they probably it. immortalize it somewhere because, like you, us now, we've got these the internet and this untapped novelty in our hands and all this kind of stuff, and we can just you know entertain ourselves just by not even not even getting out of bed. It's just, uh, right, so. Mm. Now to actually get up off the couch and go outside and see something that's potentially really cool, and that's I don't, I, I reckon it's really it's cool. A shame and that I it's like over it. now. People can't see it. It's done. The moon's done. So people who are yeah. listening to this, you're gonna have to wait till the and, next moon. So and that's get the thing. Then. That's the thing you missed out. It's not like you can watch you watch it on catch up TV. You got to get out there and experience these things. That's why you need to do this five second thing that you're talking about, Sam. That's it. Because sometimes you, I get some really good vistas out that window. It mm-hmm. looks nothing as good on camera as it does in real life. You got to see. That's it. You try it on camera, and yeah, that's. I, I have been doing. So I've been reading that Art of Happiness book, and that got me back into meditating again, Sam. And so I've been doing that. And then oh. a lot of the things that they teach you in that kind of thing is this. I know it sounds cliche about being in the moment and all this kind of stuff, but really, if you are just kind of enjoying things as they happen, like you see that view out your window, and you just go and just mm. look at it and appreciate it. As you said, you try and capture it for later on a on a phone or a camera. It doesn't work. You know, you try to think about what you can do with it. Oh, you know, is this better than the other sunset that I saw the other day? Or was it like, no, 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 just just mm-hmm. sit there, look at it, enjoy it. So the rest of, when you look at the moon, really capture. 
can't capture meditation memory either. Here's me sitting, and here's me sitting over here. Here's a question I have about you meditation. You can't present it to somebody. Yeah. Meditation. I don't really meditate, and I don't think I've mm. done it properly. But if you've done it and you do it, is there mm. like a moment where it's like, ooh, I guess it's not because the whole thing is you're not thinking, but it's like, is there a moment where you're like, ooh, I'm meditating now? Is yeah, that- there is. But then as soon wow. as you realise that, you're kind of stuffing it up. Wow. It's weird. So you kind of get that good. feeling. You kind of get that feeling. This is for me anyway. Every, I'm sure everyone's different and I might not be doing it the way that, you know, Dalai Lama does it. But um, yeah. you get stuck in this feeling, you sort of whatever and then things are happening and then you just like get this sort of overwhelming feeling of like, I don't know, it's almost like a buzz or something. You're like, whoa. And then it's like, and then you go, oh, wow, this is cool. And then as soon as you go, oh, wow, this is cool, then you're not in it anymore. I mean, you're kind that's of in it, but you're not really in it. Finishes. <laughs> yeah. that's, the, that's the climax of the meditation. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing I worry about is they have the breathing one where you're meant to focus on your breath. Yeah, yeah. But then I worry about, oh, now I've got to focus on breathing. And if I stop doing that, do I stop breathing? It's like, oh, there's too much pressure. Yeah, like there is a real risk that you could die meditating, Sam. I don't think you should try. <laughs> it is true. Hey, it, here's it's, a real it's example. Not, it's not true, people. It's not. He's, no, it's not true. Here's but another go. thing, though, John. Hmm. How explain this? The other day, you know, when you're about to sneeze, there's a bit of a lead up to it. Uh, 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 well, at that uh, point of the sneeze, right hmm. before the action happened, I you never know which brain, one it's going to be. But anyway, I'm about to sneeze. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a luck of the draw. It's like this is it. I'm about to sneeze, and then I thought, hang on. Do I remember how to sneeze? What if I forgot how to sneeze? And in that moment, I had forgotten how to sneeze. <laughs> and it didn't happen. It just it just went away. It's like, what? Is some sort of mind of a matter? Or did I just forget? And the body said, oh, all right. But you We're sneeze later. That. Surely within the next minute or two, you sneeze. I didn't. And I've still got it in me. <laughs> have you, have, you, have you still forgotten? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I've sneezed since. And it's at, at once, it's all going to come at once. And it's scary. I, I have a sneeze in me somewhere, John. I need you, an extra sneeze. In 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 first. in this world that we found ourselves in, with this threat that is forever around us, you really should learn how to sneeze. It's how it you get important. rid of. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm actually helping people because the sneezing is how it gets out there. Maybe here I am. Everyone, forget how to sneeze. Keep your distance. Forget how to sneeze. Live. Maybe. So I'm going to lose these glasses because they're hurting my head. Um, looking too smart. Looking too smart. Um, reading too many books <laughs> Sam That's weird Because mm. maybe <sighs> Well It is weird when you're sort of con- See the weird thing is with the meditation You're supposed to concentrate on your breathing But not breathe in any particular way So you're not actually supposed to be doing the breathing You're just focusing on the breathing yeah. So it's not like, it's like your body's Yeah it's like your body's still doing the breathing You're just noticing it and doing it You're not like Now yeah, breathe in Now do this blah, blah, blah. That's like the opposite of what you should be doing the breath is so weird because it's half automatic, but also a little bit under your control as well. So that's yeah, why yeah. I don't like but that. that's that's what makes it so interesting, and that's the whole thing. You're supposed to be interested yeah. in the breath, and so then you're just sort of like tripping on something that's really simple, and then it's just like, you know. But the next level of meditation is like not even focusing on the breath at all. It's like literally just letting the mind do what it wants, but not go following down a rabbit hole of thought. Just kind of just observing all the thoughts. It's not like you don't have, have any you thoughts. Ever it's been- like. Hmm. In one of those tanks, one of those no, but I, there is tanks. one near my house. I want to check it out. One of those. Mm. Everyone, you know, Joe Rogan does it, so you know it's cool. Basically, <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to be like Joe. Eat, eat elk and you know have a float in a tank and all that kind of stuff. All them weed ninjas, um, the weed ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, but yeah, I want to try it out, Sam. Maybe, maybe we should try it out. Maybe that should be our next challenge. Well, yeah, maybe it could be a little little episode. Red and Link, famous mm. YouTubers. Tried it out, and I didn't like their explanation of what it was like. They were just like, oh, 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 how about that? What was it like? Oh, oh, oh. Never gave a good answer. It's like, but that's what the whole episode's about. But they were just that peeking annoying. out, man, being YouTubers, oh, doing stuff. Oh, being YouTubers, that's it. Well, maybe we On could do one. I th- page, that's another issue. Mm. Oh, I think it's trend. expensive, Sam. That's me, bitter. I think it's expensive. That's well, one the downside. Thing. It's another thing where it's like, Meditating, what if you forget how to breathe? I've already forgotten how to sneeze. What if I forget how to breathe? I'm concentrating on it too much. In those tanks, what if I'm so out of it, I flip over, drown in the salt water? (laughs) That's what freaks me out, man. You're meant to let your mind wander and get out of it. So then you don't even know that you're you're dead. 
Yes. And then it's your coffin, your soggy little coffin. It's it's like and they if don't you're, knock on the door until the full hour. You've you've already you're long gone. Yeah, yeah. It's like if you're on psychedelic drugs, or and mm. you know you're in that same sort of thing, you're and you're admitting just, to another crime, are we? Okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and you're sort of in that same sort of th- way. You're thinking, you know, you, your mind's just so lost in whatever you're doing, and or on this other plane. And then mm. you feel like you just want to relax into that other plane and just like live there for a little bit. But you're worried that if you do that, then your body won't do its things anymore and, and you might die. Yes, yes. So uh, I'm kind of speaking in code because I'm doing the um, podcast from home. <laughs> but um, maybe on another podcast, code, yeah. we, can, um, we can go into that a little bit deeper. But yes, yeah. it's very, it is a strange feeling, this worry that like you may. Um, someone I know was actually, um, some people worry about that with sleep, worried about falling asleep uh-huh. because they don't know, you know, then they're yes. not in control. Mm-hmm. Well, that's so it's a very similar thing. Consciousness. If you're and not so in control. Weird. Sometimes you, you gonna... feel yourself going to sleep, but that's usually when you wake up again. It's only you wake up and you realize, oh, I must have gone to sleep at some point. The, the definition is that you don't realize you're going to sleep. When you go on to sleep. Yeah. Or else you wake up. And that could be a potentially scary mm-hmm. thing. Um, I had a really weird dream last night, funnily enough, oh, yeah. is that I kind of stayed up late last night trying to figure out an issue I was having, um, technical issue in the office, and um, mucking around. And then it got to like, you know, kind of late, like 12, 30, 1 o'clock, and I'm like, oh, I should go to bed. And I, I was dreaming that I was staying up playing guitar in, in my office and the lights were on and I was staying up playing guitar and this is awesome and everything and i'm like oh, i should go to bed you know it felt like it was like you know three four five in the morning or something i should go to bed bloody hell and so mm. in my dream i go to bed and as soon as my head hits the pillow i wake up in real life and it's oh. light outside and it was just like oh i didn't get to sleep <laughs> it fully felt <laughs> like it was one continuous thing like the dream and the waking up was one continuous yeah. story and so that i'd literally gone like that and slept for like less than a second and obviously, I'd been asleep. I think I went to bed at like, I probably got to sleep at like 1, 1.30. So, I'd had sleep. It was like 8 o'clock. So, I'd had hours of sleep. But mm. it was really weird. It was literally like, I'd, it was it was continuous. It was really trippy. That is kind of trippy. If you ever fall asleep in your dream, you wake up. That's that's a new rule, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe I might try that well, out. It was, it was as that. soon as my head hit the pillow that my eyes opened. And it was light outside. Right, another morning. level. And I f- into oh, another dream. I don't know. Is that another dimension? Who knows what dreams are? Like, what the hell is a dream? And they're all Here's independent. They're all independent dreams. little dimensions in people's brains because they don't interact with each other ever. God. Yes, in our own little worlds. And sometimes I got really uh, pissed off at uh, at people in my dreams. Like, I'll say, Dad. <laughs> no different to real I got life, really annoyed. He was messing. Yeah, he was messing with my good camera. I was like, Dad, what are you doing? You've scratched the screen on this and all this stuff. And I was getting really worked up and annoyed. And then I woke up and it's like, none of that actually happened. <laughs> but I was still a little bit annoyed. And then I had to realize, like, Sam, no, yes, no, yes. No, that happened. <laughs> that, that does happen. So, I think, yeah. Um, yeah. It's so weird, isn't it? I or, or like if you've been trying to do something mm. and, you know, being really disciplined about something like... Um, whether you want to sort of not be drinking alcohol or you want to not be eating sweets or something like that or eating better and all this sort of stuff. And you have a dream that you just had like a binge whatever thing and and you start getting really pissed off at yourself. Oh, I was doing so well. Oh, bloody hell. And you wake up and you're like, oh, and you're like, oh, hang on. I was just, that was just a dream. I'm still good. I'm still good. I'm on track. I'm doing my thing. Yeah, I've smoked in my dream. I've never smoked in my real life ever. But in the dream, it's like, what am I doing? I'm I'm smoking. What's this up? What's this all about? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Bloody but here's yeah, the thing. I, 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 so I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll just say, like, I know yeah. people that have done something similar. Like they've had some really hardcore drugs in their dream. They've never had them. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah, but they get to feel what they assume are the effects. It's very weird. It's like, there you go. Well, apparently you have a bit of that in your brain anyway. So maybe you did give them a bit of schmunz as it is. Yeah. My thing is, when you're having a dream, you often don't know it's a dream, but the emotions you're having are the same. What's the difference of being happy in real life to being happy in the dream? You're still happy because the facts are different. Things actually happen in real world, whereas things don't t- probably actually happen in the dream. But the way you experience them are the same. So, you know, what's the difference of if something really awesome happens in a dream? Like, maybe not if you win the lottery because then you feel really bummed out when that happens. But hmm. say you do a really quick poo, you wake up, <laughs> you feel a little good about yourself. You feel all right and you can own that. 
because the feeling was real. All right. Yeah, Dream. you really got that. As I said, that bar's really high, isn't it? Um, that's it. But <laughs> did I, do, I really see the moon? Was it just a dream? I, I I do get what you're saying though, because it's like, yeah. what is the difference? Like if, and I used to be really into lucid dreaming when I was a lot younger. I was reading books about it and like trying to do it. And if you do practice, you can do it. Like you can teach yourself how to do it. And it's pretty cool for, for people that don't know. That's where you realize you're dreaming and you control the dream at that point. Yeah, there's like little tricks you can do. Like when you do realize you're in a dream, you're like, oh, actually, this is a dream. I'm in a dream. Oh, cool. And then you go to do it. And then usually when you get to that realization, you start waking up and mm. you start. And once you get good at it, you can see when that's starting to happen. And there's these little tricks you can try that do work, like spinning around really fast in a circle. Mm. Yeah, um, gets, you back under. gets you back under, you and then and then you calm down. You got to calm down. That's the thing. What if you start thinking about scary things? Anything could happen. All these good things I can now imagine. Oh, well, that killer could see me right there. Ah, oh, and then well, you forget you're in a dream, and now you've got a nightmare on your hands. Yeah, well, it could be. The but the, the, the thing is, I feel like it's you're kind of in control, but you're kind of not. It's still stuff that's happening, and then but you kind of know you're in a dream, so you're like, mm, I'm going to go through this door. What do I want to be on the other side of this door? I reckon this. Like, come on, let's go see. And then you open up, and then you look, and it's like it might be something different, or you can't get through the door, or something like that. Or usually, what I do is fly. I love flying. So when I realize I'm like, oh, I'm going to fly. I can do this. I can do this. I know I can. I can do that. No, I can oh. do this. And then oh, well, and you sort of start floating, and then you start flying, and you're like, wow, yeah. I'm actually flying because I'm feeling like this is a thing. And then you remember it when you wake up. It's pretty cool. I'm more of a levitation. Maybe I should try it I again. Like a levitation. Yes, yes. No, I've done the levitation levitate, thing too. Yeah. It's always in front of our old house. We used to live in um, in the old suburb where we grew up in the younger, younger years. Um, Near the KFC. No, no, no. The younger, younger years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pre KFC days. Pre KFC days. days. All right, and so it's always on the front lawn of that place that I do this levitating thing. Maybe you should go back there. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe if Maybe I went back there, I could do the it in, ever. in real life. Maybe. Anyway, Maybe. it's very trippy. In Bougainville. <laughs> yeah, it was a little uh, bit like... Uh, it was. Yeah, maybe it was like that then too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, nice little pod, John. I think we've had a successful pod. Yep, yep, yep. I think I'm I think we the have. pod there, John. Um, and the I think we'll call the pod. And I think that's a very good thing to do. And I think that we should be back shortly because uh, people can't get enough. I'm... I'm I'll report back mm. next time. I'm trying to do a bit of a digital detox kind of thing, Sam. It's not going great, but I'm going to report back mm. next time with, with, with how that goes. Now, yes, um, I'll be excited to hear possible dumb phonage, possible dumb Johnage. Mm. Well, you know, that's to be expected. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for joining us, everyone, whether it's on audio, on the podcast, um, through iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube. wherever it's going to be on YouTube. Sam and John, check it out. Go find us on the other platforms. We might wake up the Twitter again. What do you reckon, Sam? I reckon we should. People oh, need to there's hear that sweet, sweet sound our again. tweets. Ah! Oh. Stay funky, everyone. Bye Wait, bye, that's Sam. my other catchphrase. Bye, John. John Time, signing out. Signing off. Something. I'll just hit the stop recording button. I'll just hit it. Fade the thingy. Fade the thingy. We haven't got this down, Pat. Dude. Bye-bye now.